Have you ever heard of Skinwalker Ranch? I'm going to tell you all about it in this video. I chose Skinwalker Ranch because I've heard a lot about it recently. Skinwalker Ranch, also known as Sherman Ranch, is a property located southeast of Ballard, Utah, that is reputed to be the site of paranormal and UFO-related activities. The ranch, located in West Unida County, bordering the Unida and Oray Indian Reservation, was popularly dubbed the UFO Ranch due to its ostensible 50-year history of odd events that have taken place there. Through 1934 through 1994, Skinwalker Ranch was owned by Kenneth and Edith Myers. In the year 1994, Terry and Gwen Sherman bought it. They sold it in 1996 to Robert Bigelow, who then sold it in 2016 to Brandon Fugel, the present owner. According to Dr. Keller and Dr. Knapp, they saw or investigated evidence of close to 100 incidents that include vanishing and mutilated cattle sightings of unidentified flying objects or orbs, Large animals with piercing red eyes that they say were unscathed when struck by bullets, and invisible objects emitting destructive magnetic fields. According to skeptical author Robert Schaefer, the phenomenon of Skinwalker is almost certainly illusory. Not only was a several years long monitoring of Skinwalker by NIDS unable to obtain proof of anything unusual happening, but also the people who own the property. Prior to the Shermans, the family whose member lived there 60 years denied that any mysterious phenomena of any kind occurred there. Alleged UFO sightings have been plentiful in the sky, and some have called this place cursed by biochemist Colm Keller, working with Bigelow's National Institute for Discovery Science, claimed to see a large humanoid creature spying on the research team from a tree. The Indians have long said that the bordering ranch on the is on the path of the Skinwalker, and for that reason have long been forbidden to go near the property. The Skinwalker is an elephant shape-shifting witch of the Navajo people, which the U people take very seriously. First home settled by the Myers family in 1905 and first consisted of a small few buildings on the northwest corner of the ranch at the foot of Skinwalker Ridge, Skinwalker Ranch Lake. Later, the original homestead was abandoned and the Myers established a new home. On on the eastern side of the ranch. By the 1930s, it was occupied by Kenneth John and Con Kenneth John Myers and his wife, Edith Child Myers. They stayed on the property until eight, 1987. The very day they took possession, the family spotted a large coyote or wolf in one of their pastures, which soon approached, making its way to a livestock pen. It then grabbed the calf by the nose, trying to drag it through the coral bars. Terry Sherman and his father then began to beat the animal to make it release the calf, but were unsuccessful. When that failed, Sherman shot the animal with a 3.57 magnum at point being point blank range but still the wolf held onto the calf after another shot it released the calf and just stood there calmly looking at the men after a few more shots the animal trotted off amazingly there was no blood or sign of injury in the animal the men then followed the tracks of the animal for about a mile before they suddenly ended as if it had simply vanished my beliefs on this are that it is true because they wouldn't really be making money because it's not open to the public and they have actual footage of events. They really wouldn't be making money if it is not open to the public because they would have the people would have to pay to be there. If they are not really making money, then why would they be spending money on scientific instruments and drilling into their own? buying hot air balloons and hiring many workers that are very smart and have lots of experience in their field of work. I conclude that Skinwalker Ranch is partly paranormal or alienated. Skinwalker Ranch was such a fun topic to research.